Hey guys, I'm Dr. Chris Strandberg. You know, these days it seems like everything goes down in the DM. I can tell you, my DMs are usually pretty lit. But uh, unlike you guys, what my DMs have going on is a lot of dental questions. What I've done is I've actually put together some of the most common dental questions that I get. I've created a list of essentials that I think if you do these, you're gonna have a healthy smile for the rest of your life. So let's go ahead and start. Number one, brush twice a day with a fluoride toothpaste. Yeah, we've heard this before, but do you know why? Brushing your teeth does two things. First, it removes food and bacteria. If these build up for more than a day, it's really easy for you to get cavities and gum disease. The second thing brushing does is it coats your teeth with fluoride. What fluoride does is it reverses the damage that food causes throughout the day. So why twice a day? Bacteria grow really fast. It only takes a few hours for them to completely cover your teeth again. So think of it this way. When you brush in the morning, it takes away that film of bacteria. If those bacteria aren't there, then they're not there to cause cavities when you eat. The fluoride hardens your tooth to protect it for the meals that are about to come. The night brush removes food and repairs your teeth from the day. All right, number two, you should brush your tongue a couple times a week. Why? Well, why? So why would I brush my tongue? Well, because your tongue stinks. About 80% of bad breath comes from your tongue. The little spaces in between your taste buds collect bad smelling bacteria. So those build up and they start to stink. So what you should do is either brush your tongue or use a tongue scraper to get all the bacteria film out. Uh, not only will that make your breath smell better, but some people actually say that your food tastes better, so why not? Number three, floss every day or use an irrigator like water pick. Yeah, you, you knew I was gonna go there. But why, why, should you, why, why should you do that? Look, we're all infected with bacteria that can cause gum disease. Gum disease messes with your overall health and it causes a lot of people to lose their teeth because these bacteria eat away at your jawbone. But you know, you probably think that won't happen to you, right? Well, the CDC says over half of Americans already have this. So two people in a room, it's one of you. Okay, so you lose your teeth, you can just replace them, right? Well, gum disease actually causes premature aging. It increases your risk of getting heart attack, diabetes, and they've even found these bacteria from gum disease in the brains of Alzheimer's patients. So to protect yourself from these bad things, clean your gums well every day. Use floss, use a water pick, just do it really good every day. Number four, don't smoke. I'm not just talking about cigarettes. Don't smoke weed, don't use e-cigs, don't use jewel pens, don't vape. Don't roll your eyes at me. I thought we talked about this, guys, but I guess the marketers have tricked you. So let me just explain. Number one reason not to smoke, the chemicals dry out your mouth, making your mouth acidic and increasing your risk of getting cavities. Number two, the bacteria start to grow and that makes your breath stink. Number three, this is my favorite one. In vaping products, the flavoring agent, when it's vaporized, it turns into cancer-causing chemicals. Look, I know that you guys are still gonna do it. At least now you can say, oh, I know it's bad, but. Number five, don't ignore dry mouth. So your saliva protects and repairs your teeth. It has calcium in it, and that calcium soaks into your teeth and repairs the little damage caused by eating. If your mouth is dry, your risk of cavity shoots way up. So you need to get to the bottom of what's causing it. First of all, everybody needs to stay hydrated, so drink lots of water. And there could be some medications that you can change, but go to your dentist first, try to figure out what's going on. And if you do have really dry mouth, there's a prescription toothpaste that you can get to help protect yourself from getting cavities. <clears throat> all right, number six. Um, this is an awkward topic. That's probably why nobody ever talks about it. I'm gonna be brave because I care about you, so here we go. Um, watch where you put your mouth. Look, sexually transmitted diseases can affect your mouth. It can give you nasty infections, which in some cases are permanent. So what can those be? Let's say herpes, chlamydia, syphilis. Now some of these sexually transmitted diseases can actually be spread by kissing. If somebody has an infection in their mouth from one of these, it can be spread to another person. Now HPV or human papillomavirus, it can cause these little warts in your mouth, um, but it's actually the number one cause of oral cancer in young people, meaning people in their teens and 20s. Now there's a vaccine that you can get, but it's only effective if you've never been exposed to the virus. And that's usually just in your early teens. I'm not trying to take away your fun, but the bottom line is you can get bad infections in your mouth. So watch where you put it. Number seven, this is really important, even though it seems simple. Don't ignore pain or anything that looks weird in your mouth. Dental problems always get worse. 
They don't get better on their own unless they're treated. So especially with cavities, if your tooth starts to hurt, that means you waited way too long. When a cavity starts, you can't feel it at all. And it can usually be fixed with a really simple filling that's pretty inexpensive. But if you wait until you have any symptoms at all, now it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars to get it fixed or you might lose your tooth. Also, if you have anything that looks like a weird growth or something in your mouth and it takes more than two weeks to heal, you should definitely go to the dentist. Look, your mouth is a dangerous place and that's why you need to go to the dentist every six months to get things checked out. Okay, number eight, my last tip. Tooth healthy food. So what I'm about to say is really gonna make you hate me but it's something that's very important to know. Carbs cause cavities. That's right, without eating carbohydrates, no one would ever get cavities, ever. It's because of the carbohydrates in our diet that we have tooth decay. The reason is these carbs feed the bacteria that cause cavities. So if we didn't eat these foods, the bacteria would starve and not cause cavities. And unfortunately, it's not just sugar. It's also things like bread, chips, cliff bars, and most vegan products actually because instead of fats and proteins, they're usually really high in carbohydrates. Now, carbs in drink form are actually usually the worst because they coat your teeth and they stay on there for a long time. And people tend to sip carbohydrate drinks over a long period of time. So this means most Starbucks drinks, healthy pressed juice, and even milk, look it up. Also something to think about, when you go out partying and you're drinking for several hours, mixed drinks have a lot of sugar in them. And if your teeth are dirty for that long, it really can cause cavities. In fact, a lot of the college students I see have like a ton of cavities all of a sudden that they've never had before, and I bet you it's from frat parties. Worst of all, cupcakes cause cavities. Now, before you lose your will to live, I have a life hack for you that will let you eat all the carbs that you want and still keep your mouth healthy. Follow along. Carbs okay, but not all day. This is because eating carbs causes your mouth to turn acidic. When you're done eating, it takes about 30 minutes or so for your mouth and teeth to go back to normal. If you have one big carbohydrate meal, in about half an hour, everything will be fine. And if that only happened once a day, you wouldn't get cavities. But what's really bad is snacking or sipping all day long. That's because as soon as you eat, your mouth turns acidic again, your teeth get soft, and before your teeth have a chance to recover, it happens again. And then you start a downward spiral, and that's when you get holes in your teeth, and that's what cavities are. So what my advice is, is eat all the carbs you want, but limit it to three times a day. So that means no snacking, basically. And guess what? This will also help you to stay skinny. Thanks for listening, guys, and thanks for all the great questions. Keep them coming. You can contact me in a lot of ways. You can slide in my DMs, at Chris Strandberg on Instagram or Twitter. More videos to come. Until then, watch your mouth.